afternoon and welcome back to my channel. My name is McPato and this is McPato PC. And today I'm going to be revisiting an idea that I first uh, talked about in I think what was my second video on YouTube in a video called NVIDIA Graphics Card and FreeSync A Winning Combination. Um, and when I made that video I didn't realize how many people would be interested in that topic. Uh, but that video has gone ahead and easily it's my number one video of all time so far for the channel it's got over 53,000 views over 440 likes and over 340 comments uh, so I definitely could tell that there's a lot of interest in this topic almost daily uh, lately anyway I'm getting questions about hi I want to buy this graphics card and run it with this monitor what do you think or what monitor do you think I should buy for this graphics card? Uh, so I mean, it's 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 an extremely common and extremely popular topic. So I thought I would revisit this idea and bring some new information forward regarding gaming with without FreeSync or G-Sync as a result of the hardware combination. And of course, this does apply if you have a, an AMD graphics card and a G-Sync monitor. The same thing would apply, it's not any different, but it's probably a lot less common. Um, so that's why I always reference the NVIDIA and FreeSync side of things, but it does work the other way as well. Uh, another common question I get a lot is what is FreeSync, what is G-Sync, what is V-Sync? Ah, I don't understand, right? So I'm going to try to talk about the different technologies very briefly. I don't want to make a half hour video. Uh, it is quite a bit of uh, technical information. So what I'm going to do is down in the description below, you're going to find links to the different ideas, either a video or an article that breaks it down very clearly and very well. Uh, so for example, I'm going to link the video I'm talking about, the NVIDIA FreeSync video uh, in the description as well as at the end of the video if you want to watch that. It is not my best work. It's again, a very old video one of my first and uh, it's a little rough. A lot of people have said I talk too slow in it, I uh, don't look at the camera enough and uh, other critiques but it, again it's still easily my most popular video and there's the interest right so I'm revisiting it today if you don't mind all that other stuff it, there's some good content there and just watch it in two, two times speed or something and it, it's not so bad. Uh, so down in the links, you're going to get a couple of uh, video uh, references from me, one's for Hardware Unboxed that was put up last week, where this very question came up on their show, on their question show, and uh, they answer it very well, Tim answers it very well, and I do respect those guys a lot, so I think they're going to back up what I'm telling you here about uh, using a faster refresh rate monitor with quality uh, video card and smooth gameplay being possible without G-Sync or FreeSync. Uh, and then Joker Productions also made a video that I'm, I'm listing there as well, where he used a GTX 1060 on a FreeSync monitor and compared it to using an uh, AMD graphics card on the same monitor with FreeSync active, and he compared that experience. Uh, so again, Joker Productions, uh, quality uh, tech tuber. I, re I really enjoy his videos. Um, and I think that for anyone with questions, there might be a few answers in there that I don't answer in my video. So there's going to be that. There's a video for uh, AMD uh, Enhanced Sync, which I'll talk about briefly. And there's an article for NVIDIA Fast Sync, which is their version of Enhanced Sync. And then uh, a couple of descriptions on uh, FreeSync and G-Sync, as well as V-Sync. So, Let's get right into it and start off by saying, can you have smooth gameplay when using a non-AMD graphics card on a FreeSync monitor? And the answer is yes, very simply, you can. Uh, I have a couple of recommendations, but if you do watch that video I referenced earlier, my video, uh, NVIDIA and FreeSync, and look at the comments. Again, there's over 340 comments, easily I would say, a hundred of those are people that have bought uh, GTX 1060, 1070, 1070 Ti, 1080, 1080 Ti and use it with a FreeSync monitor. 
and they talk about their experiences and how it is a good experience. In all of those comments, I have never seen a person say that it doesn't run well, that that combination is garbage, that they have a tearing issue or stuttering. It has not come up. And maybe people are being kind and whatever, but it has not come up at all. Everyone who's commented has said that they're happy. So I'm not alone in my thought, in my experience. And again, I was using a GTX 1080 with my FreeSync monitor. It's 144 hertz ASUS uh, monitor. And it's FreeSync with the 1080. I had no issues at all. Since then, I've, uh, I've switched it out for a Vega 64. Uh, again, I've got a couple videos on the Vega 64 and I want to bring a lot more. I thought it was an interesting product and that's why I bought it. I did not buy it for FreeSync. Although it is free and it does work, so why not? But it's not a, it's not a, a feature that I was lacking. That's not part of why I bought it. Uh, so there's that. Um, my recommendations, if you're gonna do it without uh, FreeSync or G-Sync, just get a quality monitor, something that is 100 hertz or faster, and get a video card that can give you, you know, 75, 80 FPS minimum or faster. So at 1080p, I would say from AMD, get a, an RX Radeon uh, 570 or 580. And if you're using uh, NVIDIA card, get a GTX 1060 3 gig or up. Uh, and you won't have any problems in my experience and in my opinion with stuttering or tearing. Uh, there are a couple of exceptions and I'll get to that in a little bit, but for now, general rule is you should have no problems at all in 95 plus percent of games okay and that's my experience that's been the experience of hundreds of people that have commented on my video so a lot of support there for what I'm saying for anyone that's new to this sort of technology um, just so you know a Hertz on a monitor refresh rate is how fast your monitor refreshes the image every second 60 Hertz refreshes 60 times per second and if you're talking about FPS frames per second that's the unit of uh, speed measurement for your graphics card and how many frames it's able to render in one second uh, and the typical problem that people had run into in the past was that the, uh, the, the, the video card and the monitor were not speaking so if you had a 60 Hertz monitor your video card was wild and could perform at any FPS it wanted to. Like for example, if you have a 60 Hertz monitor and a GTX 1080 Ti and you're playing at uh, 1080p, you won't have a problem hitting 150 plus FPS in almost you know, a vast majority of games. And the problem there was that you were getting frames that weren't matching with the refresh rate so for example almost twice as many frames are produced so what you're getting on the screen was not always uh, lining up with the previous frame so you would get tearing which is when one frame and another frame don't line up correctly right so my head might be a little bit over here or whatever it, it's it's not perfect so the first attempt to fix this problem was called vertical sync or V-Sync and this is a feature that's built into I think every game I've ever seen but maybe some don't have it uh, and the attempt there I'm just gonna read a description for you guys uh, V-Sync is both loved and hated by gamers the idea behind V-Sync is to synchronize the number of frames rendered to your monitors refresh rate for example most LCD monitors have a 60 Hertz refresh rate which means they display 60 frames per second. If your computer is rendering 100 frames per second, your monitor can still only display 60 frames per second. Your computer is just wasting power and uh, so on. Okay, fine, that makes sense. But how does VSync work? It works by capping your frames per second to 60. So even if your video card could do 150, it's not going to be allowed to produce more than 60 and that's to keep the monitor and the uh, video card and what it's rendering in sync okay so that's the first attempt 
what ends up happening or can happen and why people don't like it is that you get input lag okay what does that mean again if you're new to this technology this link this language um, input lag is just when you press your mouse or hit a button on your keyboard for your character to do something in the game because the frames are delayed it might take you a few cycles of refreshing to see what you've done on on the screen okay so that delay is added to what's happening on the screen so that's the negative side of vsync as well as wasting your your fps so okay let's say you don't like vertical sync what else is available well if you have amd uh, amd video card and amd uh, FreeSync supported monitor you can enable uh, FreeSync which does the same thing it synchronizes your video card and your monitor however it has a bigger window um, and it's gotten better and better to where if you have a 144 Hertz monitor your FreeSync range might be from 40 to 144 uh, FPS or Hertz depending if you're talking about the monitor or the video card my my particular monitor goes from 35 to 90 Hertz or 90 FPS right if I go over that or under that then the free sync does not work but within that range if the video cards putting out a hundred or sorry <laughs> 85 FPS then the monitor refresh rate will be 85 Hertz and so on um, G-Sync works pretty much the same way, except they have actual hardware built into their monitors. It's a module that some would say does a better job and has a much better range as well as is standardized. So any G-Sync monitor will perform the same regardless uh, of the brand, etc., and have a similar range of performance. Where FreeSync's a little more open uh, to the individual manufacturer so you might get one that has a very small window like 45 to 65 Hertz or FPS if you're talking with the graphics cards doing um, and you might have other ones that are very very good and have maybe 45 to 144 uh, range okay of operation so that's basically that and just for anyone wondering if you have a, a G-Sync, or sorry, um, an NVIDIA graphics card, it will not run with FreeSync. I've had people tell me in the comments uh, that it, they have it working. It's not possible. It is not permitted at this time. Uh, NVIDIA does not want to support FreeSync. FreeSync is an open standard. It is uh, it's called VESA Adaptive Sync. AMD supports VESA Adaptive Sync under the FreeSync brand. Okay, so if NVIDIA wanted to, they could definitely support FreeSync or VESA uh, Adaptive Sync. Okay, and that's what Adaptive Sync is, is where your graphics card and your monitor try to adapt to each other and synchronize what FPS and Hertz are doing on the screen. Now, what happens if you have an NVIDIA graphics card and a FreeSync monitor okay you don't have FreeSync fine but if you have a 144 Hertz monitor you have a very fast refresh rate 120 Hertz 100 Hertz etc your refresh rate is fast enough in my opinion that you will not run into any problems with stuttering or tearing if a game runs fast enough right so if you've got a 1080 or 1070 and you're putting out say 70 to 150 frames per second you're not going to have problems with tearing because your image is refreshing as fast as the monitor can can pick one out and if it's a little bit slower than 100 Hertz it's not I don't think it's a problem whether your eye can't perceive it or whether something's happening there that reduces the tearing or stuttering versus you're putting out 30 FPS for example with your video card and these are the scenarios where I have observed tearing so it's not 100% of the time you won't have any problems 
in some older games where I was running max settings and I was getting terrible performance, maybe due to poor optimization or whatever. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, though, is the most modern game that did it. Everything maxed out on my 1080, I did get some, some tearing. I reduced a few of the settings and the tearing went away. So the key there is get your FPS high enough and you won't have any problems. Let's say you, you still have a problem. <clears throat> What's happened now is there's software solutions from both NVIDIA and AMD that allow you to have smooth, stutter tearing free gameplay. Pardon me there, my phone rang. Um, so that will allow you to still get the same smooth performance and how those work, again, is software. So if I have an NVIDIA graphics card I would enable what's called NVIDIA Fast Sync, and if I have a, an AMD graphics card on a G-Sync monitor, I would enable uh, Enhanced Sync. Okay. Again, descriptions and links down below in my uh, comment section or the description of the video. You guys can click on those, and it'll break it down very well. But what's what's effectively happening is if your monitor is putting or if your graphics card is putting out enough FPS faster than the refresh rate of your monitor so if you're getting 120 FPS and you have a 75 Hertz monitor it's always going to show you the most recent frame okay so unlike VSync that slows down your cards performance and some of the frames it displays are old uh, enhanced sync and fast sync will always give you the most up-to-date image which ends up not creating that back pressure or at least not as much back pressure with your GPU so you end up getting smooth gameplay without having G-Sync or FreeSync enabled although it's worth noting that if you have AMD hardware AMD graphics card and a FreeSync monitor you can still use enhanced sync and if you're operating outside your FreeSync range uh, enhanced sync will take over okay just as a side note but if you're using a GTX 10 something series or what's coming out 11 series on a free sync monitor and you have any tearing issues you could either change your settings so that you're getting faster FPS and the tearing should go away or if it doesn't you can always use fast sync which will in effect work like vsync in trying to synchronize your monitor and your uh, graphics card to help eliminate the tearing it's done through a different system but it it helps them work together a little bit better than just leaving it open so all right guys we're gonna end the video there that's uh, it's gone on long enough I'm gonna leave you with that information as well as the links down below for videos and articles you guys have questions I hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button if you really like the content that I'm producing feel free to subscribe as well that would mean a lot to me and uh, you know the channel has been growing really well this year uh, just celebrated one year actually did a giveaway and uh, just worth mentioning here general Wow or Steven uh, did win that prize so it's gonna be in the mail to him this week and uh, congratulations to General Wow uh, thanks for everyone that subscribed and commented on that video and I really appreciate the kind words from a lot of you uh, again means a lot and uh, if you guys have questions or comments feel free to leave them down in the comments section and uh, we'll see you guys in the, in the near future with another video thanks again Nick Pato saying goodbye have a great day